guys, Tracy here with another layout using the Never Tear Us Apart kit. This is actually, these are all photos from last fall, the fall of 2012. And uh, I'm not sure exactly which one of them I'm going to scrapbook. They all have similar colors. Uh, so I'm just having a look through the papers that I have left at this point. There's lots left. And uh, just having a look at uh, which papers I'd like to use. I want to use a piece of cardstock for the background. I thought about using that mustard yellow for a second and then I decided to go with the craft that came in the kit. And so this is the photo that I'm going to use for this layout. I'm just kind of trying to decide. I think what I'm kind of thinking about here is if I'm going to use the horizontal photo, what I want to do is have most of my paper elements form a vertical line so that the photo itself will balance out the vertical line that I'll create with the other elements. Thought about using a couple of frames here, but I'm going to only use one of them. And this video only to this layout only took an hour to do, so I slowed it down a little bit because I had the luxury of a bit of extra time. So uh, you get to see my paper picking process at 400 speed instead of 600 speed. Um, I just cut a piece of that fancy pants paper, that yellow chevron, which I love, love, love. And now I'm just cutting out a tag from the Crate Paper Close Knit uh, collection used my regular hole punch just from the office store to punch the hole in that tag. And here comes Maya for a little bit of attention. And I'm thinking about using some stamps but I can't quite decide which and I'm going to use this happy uh, cutout from the close knit collection and I just left to to cut it and then I realized I better I ought to cut it on screen so and look at how close that trimmer that's the kind of detail that the cutter pillar trimmer can give you I just wanted to cut off a tiny there was a tiny bit of the dark from the border on that happy and I just didn't want to and I, then I I'm still getting used to the trimmer so I didn't trim it exactly perfectly but uh, you can go back and trim the tiniest little slivers of paper with that trimmer so I'm really enjoying it so far there will be a review coming up for that trimmer pretty soon probably in November so I'm again thinking about using some stamps this one won't be quite as fast paced because I did slow it down as I mentioned earlier. Thinking about using those heart stamps somewhere because they're another vertical element. I thought about maybe stamping them on a piece of paper and then having that paper uh, go over the happy but then I decided to use this punch instead. This is a Creative Memories uh, border punch system and you'll, you'll see how I use it. You can't buy it anymore I don't think because I think Creative Memories doesn't, isn't selling. I don't know what they're doing right now. I've I haven't paid attention, but uh, I don't think you can buy this anymore. So with this little gadget, you put your paper in and you line it up with that blue part that flips out. And so I just lined it up, and then you you kind of hold the paper in place with the gray thing, and then you get rid of the blue part. And then I'm just holding this up to show you that uh, it has little. Um, grooves in it so that you know that you're in the right spot. So you don't have to look at it to line it up. You just move it over until the grooves click. It's a really easy way to do a border punch and the reason I got this system is that I am absolutely in love with that shape, that border punch shape, and nobody else makes it as far as I know. I hung on to that little piece of really thin sliver of wood grain just in case I wanted another element somewhere. I didn't end up using it though. So I'm going to put that right there and that will be another vertical element. And so I'm liking how these papers are looking right now. I also trimmed off that little one to put up in the corner there just to provide a little bit of balance. That's a tag that's also from the close-knit cut aparts that came in the kit. So far everything I've used on this layout is from the kit. I really love that flare badge. It's one of my favorite flare badges. So. I'm going to use it on this layout. I haven't decided exactly where yet, but I think I'm going to put one there and one there. 
thought about using these flowers, but I'm not gonna. Not on this layout anyways. I have another one coming up. W really want to use these two potty people because one is big and one is little and it's kind of like the two sisters. One is big and one is little. So, so I just zoomed in a little bit so you could see in a bit more detail what I'm doing. I was going to use that Insta Love, but it's not an Instagram, so I didn't want to use that. And I was going to use the mason jar, but then I tossed that idea. <laughs> And now I'm just uh, having a look at the twine that comes in the kit and it's a really nice soft cotton twine and I'm going to uh, well first I snapped a picture because I'm gonna have to take this apart in order to put the twine around the photo thought about using the love die cut there but I'm not going to uh, what I'm doing off screen here that you can't see is uh, I'm looking through some of the embellishments that came in the kit so these are ormolu flare or not flare ormolu little um, cut apart labels so I'm going to use the love 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 you and uh, then there's also some chic tags there but I'm not going to use those I already have two circle elements on here and I didn't want it to become too much about circles so I'm going to save those for another time. And I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I've stepped away from my camera. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, yes, I thought about uh, outlining. So I got a piece of paper to outline on, and then I decided I wasn't going to. So I'm just going to wrap a piece of this twine around the paper three times. And I'm just going to tie a little bow. So I was going to use washi tape that way and that didn't really work so now I'm going to use washi tape this way. And I'm going to staple it as well. The staples are more for decorations than it is to keep the, the twine in place because the washi tape keeps it in place. And now for some reason my staples just kept breaking and not uh, working properly. So I think the third time I tried it I got it. Then I went apple picking and then I came back <laughs> and and then I had some new fall pictures which is the reason I'm scrapbooking old fall pictures is that I didn't have any um, but I'm already in the middle of scrapbooking this one so I'm going to keep on going with it and the next layout that I make with this uh, kit it will probably use some of my apple picking photos. So I'm kind of trying to put things back exactly as I had them, which, you know, I never know if that's a good idea to spend too much time trying to get it exactly perfect because, I don't know, sometimes. Um, so what I'm doing here is I am thinking about what I'm going to put behind that uh, photo frame. And I was going to do some patterned vellum and then I thought that would be a little bit too much. I was half thinking about doing some journaling in this uh, photo frame and so I didn't want to go with the chevron because it's an off-centered, it's it's an off-kilter chevron and uh, it, it would make it hard to journal on because it would be kind of slanted. So I didn't want little pieces of vellum sticking out so I just trimmed down the vellum a little bit while it was still stuck to the back of the frame and now I'm going to put stuff together. And I don't really care that you can't see the word happy on that cross-stitched thing. I'm, I'm basically just using it as a piece of pattern paper. Here I'm showing you that you can move the ATG glue around so there was glue showing in the really narrow parts of that die cut and uh, I just I just kind of use my finger to rub it so that it, it uh, so that it goes the way that I want it so that there's no glue showing. So here I am trying really hard to get it exactly as it is in the picture when I'd probably be better off just winging it here. It would be a lot less fussy but that's just, I don't know, the way I'm doing it. I wanted the, uh, I layered it wrong and so, and so 
I planned for the wood grain die cut piece to be over top of the frame so uh, I just kind of winged it there and pulled off part of it cut it and then laid it so that it looks like it goes over top of the frame when in fact part of it actually goes under the frame so I'm gluing down my my photo finally and putting some of these die cuts in place Now that I have that bow there, it makes it hard for me to squeeze my little sisters in. I thought about coloring those sisters, like maybe painting them um, or misting them, and then I, because I, they do, they blend in with the background and they also blend in with the photo. But then I thought I don't want to necessarily draw a whole lot of attention to them either, so I decided to leave them the unfinished corrugated cardboard um, just just because maybe it was a little bit laziness but it was also just I didn't want to make them stand out too much either and I knew that I would run the risk of making them stand out too much and I've only got the two so um, if I kind of made them too bright I wouldn't be able to go back so I just left them plain. Oops I put her up a little bit too high and I'm gonna have to tear off that foam piece and uh, put another one on. So yeah they do, they blend in with the background paper and they also blend in with the uh, twine that's behind them but I think that's okay. I'm going to add little hearts to their chests and that will make them stand out a little bit more. Roller date stamp September 2012 and now I'm going to do some journaling and I don't know exactly what day this photo was taken, so I'm just writing one of the first days of school for Sophie as my journaling. This was a nice picture. It had just rained and the sun was coming out and we were on our way to school to the bus stop in the morning and uh, the girls just were kind of being nice and sisterly for once <laughs> and so I snapped their picture with my phone here. I really, really want to use one of these stamps, but I'm not going to. Maybe on the next layout. I have trouble with stamps. I do struggle to use them. Um, so there's those little hearts, and they came from that punch, which is a Martha Stewart punch. And I didn't punch them right now. I punch out uh, red hearts just from cardstock. Uh, and then as I use them up, I just punch more. So I've always got a handful of little tiny hearts. I use them to accent my journaling in my project life and it, for a whole bunch of little additions to things every here and there. So I think those are among my last two. So I'll have to punch some more soon. So I want to put this family photo, even though it's not our whole family, it is a family photo. And... Uh, so I cut it so that it would fit because I have too much adhesive on that photo. I have more than what I normally put on a photo. And now I'm going to glue down that label and I'm just going to use my grid paper to make sure that the label is straight. So I just lined up my background paper with my grid and then I lined up the label with one of the lines on the grid. Now I'm going to use some of these enamel dots. These are from my mind's eye and they came in the kit. I think every single thing here came in the kit. Except the vellum. And I put those there but I'm going to change my mind because I'm actually going to scooch that frame in a little bit. It's throwing things a little bit off balance. And so I'm going to... I think I'm going to do my misting first. Yep. So I'm going to use this piece of photo paper, just a test that I did when my ink was running out. And this is Mr. Huey's white, opaque white. And it does take a very, very long time to dry, so be careful if you're using it not to smudge anything on it. It needs to dry. You can set it with a heat gun, but I don't know. It kind of depends what you're using it for. Sometimes it never really does dry. I've had pretty good luck with mine though. Mine usually dries okay. Then that is Heidi Swap Gold uh, Mist. It's uh, Color Shine is, is the name of it. And um, that's really, really drippy. So I love getting lots of big gold splatters with that stuff. It's awesome. 
here I go I'm going to move those enamel dots I'm just putting them on that backing for the foam adhesive I'm going to pick that up and I'm just going to shove it under a little bit more <laughs> and then my my little border is off so I'm going to move that over a little bit too I'm pushing everything back down add a bit of glue and we're good to go going to put some more enamel put those enamel dots back and I'm pretty sure it feels like it needs something else and I don't really want to I was kind of thinking about is that corner going to become a corner I want to draw people's attention to or not and I decided not so that the embellishments are in the bottom left corner of the photo where I'm putting some enamel dots now and then in the top right corner of the photo and then up in the very top corner of the layout would be my three places where I have embellishments so here are the close-ups and you might be thinking well where's the title I kind of forgot about a title <laughs> so after I show you these close-ups I will do the title <laughs> I mean it could have been family photo I suppose but it's not actually a family photo so I didn't want to leave that to be the the title so I um, I actually I can't remember did I take pictures of it I can't remember no I didn't take pictures of it I um, just went away for a while I think I went and had supper and then I came back and realized wait a minute I'm missing a title so here we go I'm using wax paper and these are October afternoon mini market stickers one of my very favorites these ones which are called teal and cream and the craft ones that are they're craft with black printing letters on them are my two favorite mini market stickers I love 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 them So I'm making the title for this, Off We Go to School, and I actually called another layout Off We Go to School from the same school year, actually, from 2012. <laughs> so um, I'm calling this one Off We Go to School October 2013 because, um, yeah, when I went to upload it to Flickr, I realized that I had another set called Off We Go to School. <laughs> um, so anyways, that's okay. They'll, they'll be in different places in my, in my uh, scrapbook. So after this, you'll see some close-up photos. Thanks so much for following along, everybody, and I hope you all have a great scrappy week.